So we didn't get much volatility over the weekend, but we did still get that drop that we were expecting going into the weekend. So the good news is that the 30K level here has held, which is probably what we were most worried about. The bad news is that we're still at risk of falling below and dropping and losing that $30,000 level unless we see a convincing bounce very soon. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into today's analysis. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the people with knowledge and resources to take you up to that next level. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. All right, so you guys will see that the market is pretty much red everywhere today. In the last 24 hours, the biggest losers are Thorchain and AMP. The biggest winner here is Dash, which is up almost 15% in the last 24 hours. On the Fear and Greed Index, you'll see that we're still at 24, which is still extreme fear. If we look at the heat map for today, you will see that we are swimming in a sea of blood with one lone green island, which is Ethereum Classic. Why is Ethereum Classic the only green coin today? Who knows, moving on. So you will see that over the weekend, we didn't really get much volatility. We stayed basically between 31 to 32K, and then today, this morning, is when we got that drop that we've been expecting basically, right, since last week. So you'll see that we're down currently about 3.4% on the day currently. We have about five and a half more hours left on this daily candle before the new one. And we're currently down to $30,000. So this is good and bad. It's good because we didn't lose 30K, but it's bad because we're at 30K, right? The longer we stay down here, the longer that we risk possibly losing it. Now, we're still pretty much in no man's land here, right? We're literally right in the middle of this channel here. So we need to see a move. If we don't see a move up, we might be testing the bottom of this channel here, which is around that $28,000 level, which is something that I don't want to see because the more that we continue to test the bottom of this channel, the more likely that we might fall below it. You'll see that here at 30K is the last shelf of volume. And after that, there's a huge drop off. There really is no more big areas of interest till probably around $24,000. So that's why we need 30K to hold here. If we fall below it, there's no telling how low we could go. It could possibly be 24,000. So, you know, we need this to hold here. If not, that's basically what we will be facing. As far as patterns go, not really any, any patterns to point out. Currently, we're still on the same thing that we were watching before. This could be taken as either a descending channel or a falling wedge. We have to continue to let it develop to see what it ends up being. Now, the one good thing that we do have going for us is that we do have some bullish divergence here on the daily. As you guys can see, the RSI was, this was the low for the RSI, and it's basically been making higher highs and higher lows ever since. So we have a pattern basically going up while the price has had a pattern going down. So that is definitely bullish divergence on the charts. And you already know bullish divergence means there could be a move up coming soon. It could be a point of uh, price exhaustion to the current move, which is currently down. It could be a hint of a coming reversal at some point. So, you know, it, it's definitely bullish. The thing is, you know, it could still take time. It could still continue lower, even though we do have the bullish divergence. So that's something that we will be watching here. Um, in Ethereum, we're pretty much seeing the same thing here, just mainly following Bitcoin's price action. We do have the upgrade coming on August 4th, so we will be keeping an eye here on Ethereum. 
you'll see that we lost that uh, support here, which was that $2,000 area, and we've had trouble getting back above it. So that's definitely something that we're watching here. Now, one thing to definitely note here is that there's a lot of interest here at this price, right? You see these the volume shelves here. This is between basically that 1800 to 1700 area. It's been also a previous support in the past here, as you can see many times over. And when we've lost that support, we've had basically big moves down. So if we were to lose this support, we could expect possibly a move back down to around 1400. But as long as we hold this support, which I think we will, depending but of course it all goes back to bitcoin right depending on what happens with bitcoin over the course of this week as long as we hold this then we should be going back above 2000 as we approach august 4th for the upgrade and possibly revisit levels up here which is around that 2500 dollars area so basically we just got to get through these next two weeks and after that i believe we have a bullish outlook on ethereum so what are we personally doing here right now in the market so 30,000, like we told you guys on friday's video is a great level for your dollar cost averaging so if your dollar cost averaging for your long-term portfolio thirty thousand dollar range where we're currently are right now it's the perfect spot to add to your dca strategy if we go lower that next number is twenty eight thousand, is where we will be adding some more into our dca and below that, we're probably looking around 24,000 to add again. Now for short term leverage trades, uh, remember we told you guys $32,000, you know, we wanted to see a test of 32,000 and if it got rejected and dropped back under, that's where we're taking short term short trades for Bitcoin. And if you took that, you're definitely made some nice profits today. We're gonna be looking at that same exact number. We're still taking shorts around 32K uh, if we can bounce back up to that. If not, we will be opening new short positions if Bitcoin's price falls under 30K and if we fall under 28K. Those are the trades that we will be watching over the week. And that's pretty much it, guys. You know, right now we're just kind of sitting and, you know, waiting. It's kind of boring. I know the last two months have been very boring in the market, unfortunately. You know, I know some people are getting anxious and uh, maybe nervous. Guys, you just got to wait it out, man. Time is going to do its thing eventually the prices will move back up. Stay patient, continue building your portfolios, continue to learn. You should be using this downtime to really get your knowledge up, really get your skills up, so that in the next time we that prices starts moving a lot, you're ready to take advantage and capitalize on those opportunities. So just because we have some downtime right now does not mean you should just be sitting back and not doing anything. This is what we did uh, between 2018 to 2020 last year, and we were able to capitalize like never before in this bull run that we had, you know, all the way down from 4,000 all the way up to a high of $65,000. So these are the moments in time where you could change your life in the future for the better. Your future self will thank you if you take that time and you put that time in right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.